Welcome to Bomb Seymour Kennel. Hi, I'm Joe Allman. Today, we're going to show the versatility of the Deutsch Drathar. Today what we're going to do is some steadiness work out in the field, but it all starts here at the chain gang. And what we're going to do is take her off the chain as she stands still, and we're going to walk her to the edge of the field, and then we're going to start our steadiness training. On this first part of the video, what we're going to show is the dog on stop to flush and what we're going to do is, is turn the dog loose and I'm going to have her quartering out in front of me and what I'm going to do is take a bird out of my bag and throw it out to simulate a wild flush in a hunting situation and the goal is for the dog to stop upon the flush. We have a kill pigeon set out here in a remote launcher. What we're going to do is have my dog BB come up to it and point it and we're going to launch the bird and shoot it and we're going to show the dog steady to the flush, the shot and then the retrieve of the killed bird. Now I had the e-collar on this dog the whole day, but never had to use it once. I didn't even pull it out of my pouch. Which is, which is the way it is when you run your tests, when you run your uh, VGP, HCP, all those tests. You can't use an e-collar. And I basically just had it on there for a safety net. These are homing pigeons. I have them right up there by my kennel. I've got like 40 of them. And uh, in order to train dogs, you have to have birds. So I use homing pigeons. It's a hardy bird. They're easy to keep. They're a little stinky, but it sure is nice that when you, when you need birds that you've got birds readily available. So I'm gonna set these down over here. And then I'm going to take the remote backer out and set it on the edge of this hill over here. We've got to turn it on. Get his tail just right. set it down here in the grass the wind is pretty much blowing out of the east so we're going to bring the dog in from this direction so we make darn sure it does not smell the birds all we're after is the dog honoring point from this backing dog and here's what it's going to look like and his job or her job is to stop at honor point
I'm gonna send BB down this mowed path on a couple of blind retrieves. We have uh, three shed antlers from whitetail buck down this mowed path and we're gonna show that she can retrieve shed antlers and she works well for finding antlers out in the woods after the deer shed them. That a girl. So she just got downwind from it and smelled it and that's her way of bringing it back now. Good girl. Oh, all right, Phoebe! So we're just gonna send her on a command and she's gonna go over, swim across the water and bring the dummies back to me. Good girl. Good. Now I've got her trained so she doesn't shake until after she gives me the retrieve. Because a lot of times what they want to do is shake and then have a chance of dropping the object. So I've basically taught her that she can't shake until she gives me the object. So I'm going to take the retrieve out and then she always shakes. prior dogs through uh, VJP, the HCP, and some VGP tests. Um, also, I've ran most of my dogs through all the NABDA tests, um, natural ability and utility. And um, I have one dog that's actually a versatile champion. That's Husker Bob Weyerhaus. He's in my uh, kennel down here. This is one of my puppies out of my A-litter, um, Addie. Um, I got her up on the training table. Just kind of showing what uh, I have here as far as a uh, kennel system. My dog houses are all right here with the training table built right on top of it. Um, and this is what I use for teaching the dogs to move on the table. And we do some force, force fetch training down here. young age we try to teach the dogs that, that we have to be able to look inside their mouths so we can see their teeth. Just makes it easier on the judges on test day. So we have to open our mouths, look at their teeth. Ah, good, good girl. It's just something uh, that's good to get, get used to the dogs having their mouths open. Um, and we teach them that they have to be, you have to stand still and to be able to pet them and comb them and work on their feet, maybe trim their nails or whatever it happens to be. It's just something good, it's, uh, good for the dogs to get used to that. <laughs> 